Hey guys, what's up? So this is going to be a little bit different from the rest of the videos on the channel. It's not going to be races, obviously. This is just going to be a brief overview of what's on my Speed 3, and then I'm just going to give a little, like, tips and hints and tricks and stuff on if, you know, you just bought your Speed 3 or if you need some tips in modding what you've already got. So we're going to start off by doing, you know, the mods on my car, and then I'm going to segment into recommendations for your car as well as, um some other thoughts that I had. Um, so let's start it off. So for performance mods, it's pretty basic. I have a Cork Sport full intake. So it's the intake as well as the turbo inlet hose, which is a great deal. Um, you get everything for one price instead of, you know, for example, Cobb, where you have to buy the intake and the inlet hose. And Cork Sport is way cheaper. Um, JBR is also a really good option. Um, I have a 50-50 turbo excess blow-off valve, which sounds good, but it's kind of a pain in the ass, but I'll talk about that later. And then I have a eBay Catless 3-inch downpipe, which has worked flawlessly so far. No leaks, um, no cracks, fit really well. It, yeah, it's great. Um, I also have a Cobb access port and a hypnotic tune. Um, as for some visual stuff, I have tinted my headlights, fog lights. And then I also have a um, lip from an 04 STI that I painted to fit, or that I painted and then cut to fit, which is a really great deal. Like, it's, it's maybe an hour of work, hour or two of work, but, you know, I think it looks way better than kind of like the, how the way the lip hangs otherwise. And it's also like 40 bucks. Like, you can get it off eBay or Amazon for 40 bucks, which is a pretty good deal, because chances are you're going to beat up your lip anyway. And it's much better than paying like 180 bucks for like a Cork Sport one. Um, other than that, I have five inch spacers on the front and 10 in the back with extended lugs. Other than that, it's pretty, pretty stock. It's not lowered. No, no, no cat back or anything like that. Um, so now I'm kind of going to, I'm going to talk about the mods I'd recommend for a first timer. And then I'm going to talk about you know just some other stuff I don't know all right guys so this is the part of the video where I'm gonna talk about what mods I recommend for you know a first timer or if you're thinking about modding the car you already have um, so that's, that's what gonna be what I'm talking about all right so I'm gonna talk about the first mod you should do which is of course the access port whether you get a v2 or a v3 I, I highly recommend it if you're going to get into modding this car because it's going to allow you to retune your car, monitor your car, log your data. It's, it's insanely useful. You can also set launch control and Cobb also gives out their access tuner race for free. So if you want to learn how to make your own maps or to even, I don't know, it's just fun to fiddle around with, but um, highly recommend the access port as a first mod. You also get the um, the stage one tune which helps a lot with consistency as well as bumping up the power a bit nothing major but but you'll feel it if you don't have any other bolt-ons on your car other than that the next mod I'd recommend would be the uh, full intake so whether you get that from Cobb or JBR or Cork Sport doesn't really matter they're all the same um, but they work great the cars really love more air <laughs> like Besides the downpipe, the intake is probably the best bang for your buck. You'll feel it, it makes a great noise, flows a lot better. You'll probably get an extra like 20 horsepower to the wheels out of the deal. It's, it's fantastic. Um, after that, of course, high pressure fuel pump. Can't stress this enough. There are too many people who've blown their engines because, you know, they decide that they'll do intake and downpipe and then they won't get a high pressure fuel pump and their fuel pump can't keep up and you're running lean and then the car explodes. So definitely if you're doing anything more than like an intake, you are going to want the high pressure fuel pump. And it's pretty easy to install. It's not as bad as some people will make it out to be. It took me like three hours, not a bad deal. Um, after the fuel pump, you're free to do whatever you'd like. You can put a bigger turbo, a full turbo back, whatever you'd like. It's, it's just important that the engine gets the fueling it needs to actually run. And with the high pressure fuel pump, you also have the option of running uh, E85, which is really great, but uh, I'll talk about that later. Um, so one other mod I'll really recommend 
is uh, a rear motor mount, which I do have on the car. I think I have like a, a it's like a jawbone or like something like that. It was like an $80 one, um, really stiff, but it, it makes the car less kind of jumpy. Like if you're flooring it, you, you know, you're trying to do like a launch or something like that. Um, it'll reduce wheel hop. Um, it'll make the engine more stable. Um, it'll also kind of, the drawbacks are it'll make the interior of the car a bit louder, um, but I kind of like that. It'll also increase the vibrations in the car, but I kind of like that. It's, it's a pick and choose, and you can also pick, you know, less dense rear motor mounts for like street use, or if you're doing track, you can pick an even stiffer one. Um, but other than that, I highly recommend a motor mount. They're pretty cheap, they're really easy to install, and it does make a huge difference. Um, so finally, this is the last thing I'm going to recommend, which is if you're, you know, slightly bolted on like I am, or fully bolted on, you want, and I can't express this enough, you want a Pro RE tune, because Cobb tunes, not, not bueno at this, at this point. Like if you're running downpipe intake and a few other, you know, downpipe intake, that's what I've got the the tune helps so much like it's easily an extra 20 horsepower to the wheels it's insane Cobb tune I was making 17 pounds of boost pro tune I'm making 21 it's it's crazy um, I have a hypnotic tune if you're if you're asking about it um, I, I also have the Liberty to run e30 which is insane that's an extra like 30 horsepower it's crazy and it only costs like down here it costs like a dollar a dollar ninety a gallon whereas premiums are like 280 at most pumps so you'll save a bit on gas every week or every month or however often you fill up um, it will lessen fuel economy but the gains you get from it are absolutely crazy I like like if you take anything from this video it's if you have bolt-ons you should get a pro tune like I cannot stress that enough if you're racing cars with full bolt-ons and a cob tune can't take you seriously man um, other than that that's that's the video just showing you my car talking about some things that I'd recommend um, hope you guys kind of like this change of pace now you kind of know with what I'm what I'm running with if you see the car racing other cars um, that's pretty much it I'll try to post a bit more but other than that um, I'll also put all the mods and stuff in the description as well as my Instagram or Facebook or whatever if you want to message or talk or anything like that. But on that, I hope you guys have a great afternoon and a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.